Hey everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop, LoneStarMopars.com. It's Monday night. Thought I was going to have a great Monday night and get home from work and uh, roll the saw outside, sand and paint it. No, no, no. <laughs> had to uh, spend all the daylight hours and then some cleaning up after 80 mile an hour winds. So, uh, tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds and dirt. It's a crazy day. But, Mopar Monday is still going to make the most of the day. I already had supper because I had to run back inside. And now we're going to crank out a nice little tool haul here. Shouldn't take too terribly long, I say that. We still managed to wind up making it take a while, but I'll do my best. So, this is kind of the conclusion to Zorro 3, 4, and 5. And uh, this is something we could have included last time, but it just seemed like, yeah, you know, somebody's probably going to be looking for the quarter drive, you know, impact socket stuff. So, made sense to go stand alone. And on that front, we've got a nice little setup here for you and uh, we're gonna have bag one and bag two this is kind of cool because truth be told I have never in my life ordered like a standalone item from Capri prior to this uh, sockets anyway right and so the way they bag them they just literally bag them and uh, worked fine they got here in good shape and what we have uh, this is not for here at the house this is something I was like you know what I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and get the freaking things for work. So, uh, these are 3 8 drive, half, and 9 16 uh, Those are going to be very important to me because, again, just like we do with Hercules long neck and everything that we seem to test out, we've got it set up to take motors apart, right? They come in, we have to break them down, get them off the pallet, rack them, whole nine yards. So, so many times, I've covered this, I don't know how long, how often I'll have to do it, but you know, you basically have an electric motor, right? And it's round. So you come in and one would think, you know, like you would have essentially, let's say the junction box needs to be face up, right? Or facing 90 degrees this way or 90 degrees that way because it can't go face down because it would drag the ground. Uh, you have to have a cutout on the pallet and it would drag or get hit with forks or something stupid. So it's typically straight up unless there's freight damage like I saw today. Worst freight damage I've ever seen on a motor. 25 horse cracked <laughs> everything. Uh, just fractured. The shaft had shipped. It was just a mess. Uh, absolute insanity. Had a really good run there for a while with FedEx and now it's just kind of gone downhill the last three or four deliveries, which is a shame. But this thing is a total loss. Like, I mean, I don't even know. I could harvest hardware off of it. It's about that bad. So that's uh, <laughs> that was my Monday in a nutshell. But uh, essentially, you know, you would think like you would come out and you would have, if you've got like your transport bolts down here face down, you know, you thread in a little half inch bolt, three quarter socket. That's why I don't need swivels because I have it up in the air for those. But the brackets, typically, there's three or four different varying styles, but the most common I tend to deal with that's a problem is like a short little galvanized steel bracket. And it comes in and there's a lag screw that goes down. And you would think it would go like down, but sometimes it goes down, sometimes it goes down, and sometimes, I don't know how, uh, I don't really, like it's puzzled me many times, like what is this guy using when he drives these freaking things? You know, like the world's junkiest flex extension that somehow transmits torque and sends the screw home. I have no idea. It really does boggle my mind. But it gets to a point where, like, the head of the fastener is so obscured. Like, there's been times I have to come in literally, you know, with an open-end wrench. You cannot get the box end of a wrench. Because keep in mind, you don't have, like, a nice square, and this is 90 degrees off, you know, type of a thing. I mean, you're dealing with something cylindrical here. And so you're coming in with a ratchet or an impact or, you know, a flex extension or a long extension or a nut setter and you can't touch it. It's just, it doesn't happen. <laughs> so uh, what I try to do is avoid having to use an open end wrench because if you've, you know, lag screws, they're probably like, what, two and a half, three inches maybe. But if you have to turn that by hand with an open end wrench, you know, and the wood isn't completely fractured and splintered, not the most fun thing to do down on your hands and knees, right? So that's where the inspiration for all of this comes from. And if you haven't figured out what these might be just yet, they're going to be Capri's 
Universal Impacts, half and 9 16 It's usually half, sometimes it's 9 16 sometimes two bolts will be half and two will be 9 16 and sometimes it's three to one ratio. It's just a, a never-ending litany of surprises, I tell you. And then every once in a while, you'll get something totally different than that. <laughs> and, uh, it's just like I said, it keeps you on your toes, I suppose. But uh, this is cool because... All I have impact swivel wise here at the house, and these are all recent pickups, is from Icon. And it's primarily just a situation I was able to get those all with a 25% coupon. Uh, I think a couple of times it was when they like recently lowered the price, like temporary deal. That's a new section on Harbor Freight's website. I haven't seen many people, I don't think I've seen anyone talk about it actually. But if you scroll down, it's usually somewhere here in the middle down, you have to scroll a little bit to get there. And it's like new lowered price. And it's never a permanent thing, but for like two weeks or something, the price for say a $160 set of sockets might drop down 10 bucks to 149. And the best thing about that, if you have a coupon, it will stack. A lot of times, if that's a sale price, you can't stack a coupon, but since it's like a temporarily lowered price, instead of me getting 25% off of 160, I get 25% off of 150. So I'm smiling all the way to the cash register, right? <laughs> And uh, that's literally kind of what dictated for me uh, what route we go. So this was exciting because it was going to be my first experience. And I say this in past tense and you're probably confused just because that guy has been opened and he's already done some stuff. So uh, long story short there, three eighths by half the price, 1143 and three eighths by nine sixteenths the price, 1336. Obviously, if you want to try something out before you commit to like a hundred, a hundred and fifty so dollar purchase, grab your most used sizes or something that you frequently break. You know, it doesn't even have to be the most used. If you have three quarter and you barely touch it, but you break it, you know, every three times you use the thing, try something new. <laughs> Go that route type of a deal. But uh, speaking of the 25% off stuff, if you recall from Zorro 3, 4, and now 5, we got this 25% off. So these suckers here. This one that should have been 1336 was 1002, and this guy that should have been 1143, 857. That's a song right there. Half and nine sixteenths, two of my most frequently used sizes anywhere. Uh, I came away with two impact rated universal swivels for basically what 1859. That's crazy. That's about ten dollars less than you would pay a lot of places for a singular socket if they'll sell you. A singular socket. So, what I want to do is grab these guys because the boxes were locked. <laughs> so, I'm going to go to town. What I want to highlight here is Capri's packaging. Again, they're going to have a lifetime warranty. Uh, I've never had to use it, but uh, 916 Universal Impact 3H Drive. I like the way they labeled it. I like the way they packed it. It's simple. I'm pretty sure the way Zorro handled it, it was like a direct shipment type of a deal. You know, like I don't even think they have it in their warehouse deal. I think it's just like the CP tools is like who shipped it to me. And so I'm pretty sure like maybe anywhere Capri is you know, set up as a vendor, you know, it's like, oh, we're not going to stock your stuff, but we'll sell it. I could totally be wrong, but that is what I would guess now. The cool thing here these are these are really really nicely done in my opinion uh, as you should know i am a fan of multiple things happening here number one is the big visible laser etching all right part number is nice but the big thing is 9 16 and i can see it i'm also a fan of this 9 16 that is a big roll stamp right this is kind of what i want to see with a roll stamp take up as much real estate as possible also like the roll stamp is here and the laser etching is here it's kind of a catch-22 it depends you know are you going to rub here or do you have access flip these around it'll probably always be the least convenient thing for you laser etching does wear off over time but uh, if it's a situation where you're just always rubbing this and this area stays mint, laser etching could be a really good thing for you. Spinning it around, this little sleeve that they put on, pretty nice. The knurling is not aggressive at all. I'd call it subtle, but it is noticeable. And that's the big thing that it is, in fact, noticeable. Coming in here, we've got a six-point design. That's the only way they sell these. Uh, this sucker, if you 
good lord it's always so dark in there but these are pinned some people will like that some people will hate it your opinions may vary i do believe the working angle is 30 degrees uh, your business end will in fact swivel all over the place which is what you want and why you're purchasing these the quarter drive that we took a look at which is right here what was i the most excited about on it that that they were chamfered okay that was a genuine surprise to me but it wasn't the first time i'd seen a chamfered opening on a capri impact socket it was actually these i don't know when they started doing this i don't know if it's limited to new stuff i don't know if it's like quarter drive and swivels only i really don't know but all my old stuff from capri was just straight cut right some people prefer this i don't i truly do not uh, some people argue, you know, like, oh, it'll last longer until, you know, the waller's out and falls off your anvil or something. Personally, uh, I would take this any day of the week. I think they're going to wear the same. Uh, and the fact that I can just slide this on and off easier and locate it in awkward situations is a win for me. So, anything we could have done different, maybe roll stamp back here. That's kind of nitpicky since they did it up top, but I mean, hey, you know, it's kind of something you could do. And the ultimate thing, though, is just that we got this for such a stupid low price. Universal impact for the price of $10. Uh, you're going to be hard-pressed to find that. Again, lifetime warranty. And the other thing that you should know about Capri and me, I like Chrome Molly. And that's what these are. So, uh, Other thing, they do a pretty good job on the coating. That's black phosphate. Uh, or I should say... Uh, manganese i believe but uh it really really nice looking is the main takeaway there we'll take a look at the profile here in a second because this guy right here again i'll have links back i guess zorro or capri this is the half inch companion and i put it back in the bag when i was done at work and that way i would try to keep it in as good of a shape as possible what did this do oh man let me think maybe 12 to 16 bolts <laughs> well it would be 16 but i'm trying to think back to the previous freight damage and sometimes they lift off and the lag screws come out on their own type of a deal but uh, anyway this is the half inch exact same thing there just again uh size down uh this is what it looks like with a little bit of wear now you're thinking like oh that looks terrible a lot of this is just like metal fluff right those are grade two lag screws uh, they're nothing fancy i'm not faulting anyone for doing that and shipping that's kind of like a throwaway type of a deal right but uh i mean pretty robust but i mean you wouldn't there's no need to go all out there and do like grade eight or something crazy so uh grade two and i'm just saying that because they tend particularly the ones where this is really necessary <laughs> you tend to uh, get the fairy dust going quite a bit so this is what she looks like you can see easily here where we're kind of rubbing a lot of wear visible there on the side of the socket body and then here on the collar just bits and pieces if you give me a couple more motors uh, this would be a situation where you'd probably see more visible wear patterns there we might update these from time to time but i mean this is nothing major basically just what it's like after the first use which is cool to get to showcase brand new and something lightly used so right here again you can kind of pick up just where you see the shiny shiny like here there in the corner you can sort of pick up just where uh, this thing was used so half and nine sixteenths still turns and swivels probably a little bit better than that one because it's broken and been wobbling all over <laughs> so easy to tell the difference right there between those two uh, what I want to highlight here this is we'll go nine sixteenths I like to do nine sixteenths why if I do three eighths or half it gets confusing because you got drive size and socket size and everything so this is nine sixteenths and I'm going to go ahead and say, man, if there's, if there is a difference between these, it is microscopic. Uh, a couple thousandth maybe is all. I want to say that they butt up perfectly, but then I feel kind of a lip at the joint. But the bottom line, they're super, super close sidewalls as well that's the main thing i want you to pay attention to you there uh, just for comparison's sake maybe contrast since this is kind of glittered up a bit there you go 
uh, half versus nine sixteenths. And to give you perspective here, those are just fixed size and then you're half inch shallow. So essentially, if you got shallow capri impacts or just kind of anything shallow across the board, height wise comparison up to the collar is about where you're going to be. Now, here at the house, and I literally, uh, we haven't even done the video on these things, so I had to bust this guy out of the packaging. It's just been sitting there patiently waiting on me, and for that I apologize. We've got the Icon equivalent. Went ahead and grabbed the 916 for reasons already mentioned. <laughs> and, uh, this is super, super similar, but a little different. Uh, Capri's coating might be slightly preferential. Um, what's really preferential to me, you'll note on the Capri, we had a laser etching, which we do not have here. If this was Pittsburgh, I totally get this. Roll stamp it, call it a day. This is Icon, this is your top of the line, and this is what you want to compete with tool trucks. So you either need to be at that level or exceed it. The laser etching down there is beautiful. We have none here, so that's a win for Capri. This is Chromoly, again, fantastic. It's one of the reasons I like the Icon Impact sockets. Right there, it's pretty decent roll stamp, but the problem is everything is upside down with them. I think they copied Snap-on or something, and again, this is one of those deals. How can you improve? Some people may like this. I don't know who would. I really don't because you cannot store, you know, a lot of sockets, you know, like this one that you can either do it on like a twist lock peg or MTS rail or a socket holder, spring steel, the Hanson Global, the peg stuff. You can go down like this and then all of a sudden this is fine because the 916 is visible there. But with these, you cannot go through right they're balled out there there's no passageway if you will so it's really a head scratcher there why you would be upside down and you try to reason it out and think okay well if you attach to a drive tool what's going on and it's like oh well you know now you know whereas this capri 916 is difficult i i can see it going right onto the fastener i mean pick your poison there but uh, for me and my organizational purposes, upright is the way to go. Socket side up, drive side down, I don't think I'll ever change with anything across the board. So that's a legitimate complaint there. Those are minor things. You know, chrome molly, check. <laughs> this Harbor Freight calls there is like, it wasn't black. I think they just say black phosphate. And that's kind of misleading because there's a lot of them. And I don't know which route they went. Um... And that's manganese phosphate, and they sort of overlap, but that's also a little bit more, like, better of a coating. Uh, we're talking sort of like aviation and, you know, automotive OEM type stuff versus just, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a startup, going to make some sockets, let's do this. So I think they're going to be similar. They could be the same, but I feel like if it was, they would spec out that it was manganese phosphate, but... I don't, I don't know. It's probably irrelevant to most people. If you're somewhere super humid or your crud always rusts, I think you'd be slightly better there. But again, kind of based on, you know, price, sales at the time, how bad you need it. Uh, coming in right here, this is pinned as well. I'm not sure that you can see it. This one is a little gritty. Uh, but again, I think over time, I mean, just doing this, it feels significantly better. So like I said, this was truly straight out of the package. I hadn't played with it at all. So what I want to do now for you, this one is also chamfered, which is nice. Maybe not quite as exotic of a chamfer as the Capri. But if we take it, and we go side to side, that's really close. The Capri, again, this is their wave drive. Icon has it. I don't think they have a name for it trade-wise. These are going to be really, really, really close overall comparative purposes right uh, did they come from the same factory there's a chance you know slightly different finish out roll stamp laser etch uh, the knurling here a uh, little bit different on the chamfered end obviously you know if you need to run a pin through type of a thing you've got the retaining collar if I had to say just you know obviously that's not enough use to know anything. I mean, it could look like that for the next five years. It could be totally shot in two months. I don't know. Same thing here. This has never been used. So ignoring that vantage point of everything, if I just had to sit here ignoring price and say, 
which of these would I rather have? The Capri is just the more attractive unit. We're talking full on aesthetics here and extra features. The Capri is the way I would go laser etching. It's oriented the way I want it. I like knurling. I mean, if the icon was knurled, I'd give them points there. I'm not being like a total jerk or anything. Uh, same thing here. It's just a bonus feature. Do you use pins? Do you want to run an O-ring type of a thing? You can't on the icon unless you go <laughs> turn it yourself, but it's just built in here. Uh, I'm not sure what the icon would cost individually. I'm not really going to check it in. I also do tend to prefer this machining just a little bit better. Basically, these are ridiculously similar. This one is just a little bit more... I guess you'd say packed with features, and they happen to be features I like, so uh, there goes your preference now. Ultimately, if this thing is junk and this lasts twice, three times as long, who knows, I will prefer this one, but I will still wish that they at least had the laser etching and oriented it in this manner, upright. That way, if you've got people like me, you know, and you're gonna have to store these, unless you have a freaking bolt that you implant a magnet in, no one stores these like that. You cannot do it, short of what I just described, or a magnetic rail. And if you do that, then you're gonna look down at your set and all you're gonna see is a 3H drive size, right? And it's just stupid. So you would need them oriented this way. I, fine. Leave your 9 16 flipped. Do whatever. But on this collar or the body of the socket, laser etch it. That would go a long, long ways with me. That's, uh, that's just a quick and dirty comparison. Again, ultimately, price it out. Um, it's really hard to get. You can't get the icons in hand because they're in a set. You know, unless like somebody's had something warranted and there's one broken down and let you open it type of a deal. Same with the Capri, you can't really, I don't know, brick and mortar location, so you're kind of buying both blindly outside of, again, the aesthetics. For myself personally, that's the win for the aesthetics in terms of performance and durability. Sneaking suspicion they'll be about the same, but I will just ultimately have to wait and see. If you, however, the viewer, have used both of these, how do they hold up? Maybe perhaps you use SAE and metric about the same or just a couple SAE sizes even and metric all the time. If you've used them enough to kind of be like, oh, hey, you know, these are like identical, tell people. Similarly, if you use the Capri and they're junk, let people know if you have the icons and you break them all the time or you, you know, some of them are good from your set, but you break this size and then it seems like the two or three that you break all the time you go back and you either get a rock solid workhorse or <laughs> you get like a lemon and it's a constant issue or you're trying to still uh, fill out your set with non-lemons tell people again this is something i won't know for quite some time i'll have to use these so uh, excited to kind of see what everyone thinks on that front now we'll throw these on drive tools i guess at the end but the next item here is actually the last item and uh, what it is, I'll just go ahead and throw it down right here. It is Capri's three-piece impact universal joints that just made sense to get this at the same time. I wasn't quite sure. I think I'm just going to leave this here. That was my initial plan. And then I thought, you know, that might be kind of handy to have it work too. And I was like, now oh, you're kind of getting an overkill there. <laughs> Surely those two will suffice for you. I may have to add a 7 16 three-quarter would also be nice. Uh, but again, those are things where would I save money on a set? Yeah, but you know, am I going to use 5 8 and 11 16 Not often. <laughs> you know, have to be some oddball stuff type of a deal. So uh, I'm thinking about just kind of piecing that together. And this might be something, though, that we could bring in, sort of populate a rail, uh, throw it in the bag with little Pittsburghs, if you will. Should have had those out here with me for a you know, update, but hey, this is a tool haul, <laughs> not, an, not an update on Pittsburgh impact sockets. So uh, this thing right here is a pretty good buy. You got to think you've got quarter, three eighths and half universals impact rated. Uh, MSRP would be 2473. As you might have guessed, we didn't pay that. We used a 25% off. We got it for 1855. <laughs> okay. So I think three sizes, that's like six bucks and some change each. 
uh, if you want to price it out appropriately you know and do like eight bucks there for the half inch or ten there then you got nine dollar ish to spread between two it was a killer buy in my opinion uh, and like I said, this will be our first foray with the swivels, uh, or universals, whatever you want to call them, from Capri. But uh, I'm optimistic based on how well the sockets have been so far. So uh, looking at the packaging here, you got a ball spring design, 30 degree working angle, and a smooth 360 degree rotation. Uh, they're chrome molly again, which is awesome. All three drive sizes represented. I don't know if they have this in three quarter. Um, they might. If they don't, they probably will at some point. I'm going to go ahead and get this plastic off for you. Why? Well, it creates a glare. When I was just looking at the camera lens there. So, um, I'm not sure that there's anything else really to look at on the back side either. So it also makes sense to remove it on that frontage. <laughs> but we'll spin this thing around. They've got the classic lid here that I've kind of grown to like. We'll take that off again. If you're in a body shop somewhere dusty, you know, those stupid little plastic lids might actually be worth keeping, especially if you don't use this often. Maybe you just use them when you rip body panels off, right? You know, your swivels, they're not sitting out like your sockets. Go ahead, cover them back up, close the drawer, and keep them slightly less dusty. OCD people, you are safe. We now have these oriented properly. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, that's that. I think Icon has this. But it was three eighths and a half. Why? Icon currently does not have quarter drive impact sockets. That's right. So I think their set was 19 to 25, it's somewhere around the same price. But here I'm getting three drive sizes, and then with 25%, we're getting it way less anyway. So uh, it'll pair nicely again. Don't have any half inch capris, doesn't matter because we'll just put what we've got on the back end of it protos, rights, and icons for metric. Three eighths, it'll be paired up. Quarter drive, it'll be paired up perfectly with our Capri sockets. So we'll just go right to the big gun here, our half inch. Again, this is super nice here. Uh, this knurling feels a little more pronounced, but I think it's because there might be like another row to it type of a thing. Or it could be a different die, who knows. But again, laser etched here, that's really all you need. There's no need for a roll stamp. There's your ball detents right here. You got chamfered opening, super awesome. Somebody tell me if you've recently bought 3 8 Capri impact sockets, are they chamfered now too? That's, that's really going to suck for me. Uh, some of you might be appalled and wish it was the other way like what I've got, but uh, like I've mentioned, that's kind of the ticket for me. So you got your pinhole, your O-ring groove, again really nice. This is sort of more of a gloss finish versus these guys. You can kind of, I think you can tell exactly, keep in mind 9 16 is the new one. Even the laser etching has a bit more sheen to it because of that, so it's a sort of like a the coating matches the socket essentially. And this does not, this is like a gloss finish. So, some of you may prefer that, some of you will be indifferent. But here's the moment you've waited for very nice. So, uh, that is how she articulates there. Three eighths, we'll just check these, make sure we don't have limits. That's very, very well. <laughs> uh, wearing out of the box already. Quarter drive. Will we break this one? Possibly. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, it is present as well. So what I'm going to do now is pause this because if I don't, we'll be timed out pretty soon. And now I don't have to worry about that. So what I have with me, just for the sake of having it with me, is a Hazette 916 HP. Love this ratchet. That's why she's filthy. And what we're going to do is couple our impact rated adapter to it. Why? Why on earth would we do this? Because we're cheap. We're thrifty. If you have this, it does the same thing a chrome one would do, but it'll also work safely with your impact tools. <laughs> so, uh, is it the ideal aesthetic configuration? Absolutely not, but in a pinch, you can grab this that will work on your pneumatics or your battery power tools, and it still applies to the handheld ratchet. I love that sound. And uh, that's about all she wrote on that front. So, I'll set this down. And I went ahead, I had to grab a ratchet. So I also grabbed this guy. That is right, we're gonna throw this thing down onto the Hercules half-inch drive impact. This is an old one, it's before they had like the new ultra torque. 
ultra magnificent, glorious, whatever they're calling them all now. Just strings of adjectives. This is the weakling, the early bird, whatever you want to call it. Uh, works fine for what I want it to do. Uh, again, I'm still kind of an air person personally, but the convenience of this, when I like, if I'm in the shop, it's not a big deal. If I'm outside the shop, it's not a big deal for about 30 to 40 feet if I'm being generous. Okay, we get past that point, and my coupled together airlines don't go anymore. <laughs> and then uh, where they would go, we start to have an issue. Uh, we're losing pressure the farther we go, right? So, stuff like this, battery powered, I'm not wired, I'm not corded, I don't have a line I have to worry about. We can just go to town, that's the real beauty of it for me. But right here, we're just gonna throw this down, we're just, what are we on? Uh-oh, is this battery dead? No, it's not. Let me see here. We're on three, so we're gonna go to one, and let's just see how she spins. <laughs> That's pretty solid. Uh, again, you got to remember this is a universal, so you shouldn't expect it to be perfectly straight. This is two. I love that it's new. Why? You can see the laser etching and pick up on the play here versus the play here. Again, this should be a constant. And this, as we spin with more and more speed, you'll probably see significantly more run out. We are now on three, which is max speed for this model. <laughs> and uh, testament to that, as you can see. So, very cool, and uh, slides on and off, super easy, that's awesome. We can pair that with our Hercules impact gun. Now, this guy, I should have grabbed my long neck, man, I love that thing. Uh, what we've got here is our 3 8 short, I think what I'm going to do, honestly, I like that long neck so well. We now have quarter drive impacts, and we can totally waste money on quarter drive impact tools, you know, fixed ones, but that 3 8 long neck, it's just so good, like it's been good to me for this whole time I've had it, and it's seen a lot of use, it's super, got red paint all over it, and grit and grease, and wood chips, and sawdust, and metal shit, just you name it, it's been through a lot, and it's still ticking like a champ, so uh, this is one of those things, I just personally, the long necks, in my opinion, that would be my go-to. Like, if I do buy one for quarter drive, I'll buy the long neck first. That's just the way I go. Uh, it seems, you know, it's mainly... I know what you're thinking, like, oh, well, you'd have better... This is more compact, it'll be better. But the truth is, you have to think, like, this is going to be your limitation here, the body of the ratchet. So when we take this neck and extend it 8 to 10 inches, all of a sudden, I don't have to worry about this. And that little shaft there is almost like having the Suzette just branch this thing out. Really, really good setup in my opinion. But what we have here is the Hercules. Let's make sure we're going forward. Sometimes, I don't know why, you go in reverse and it just looks worse. So here we go. You ready for it? Keep your eye on A and B. This doesn't spin quite fast enough to elude you, but it's a situation. It spins quick enough to throw that down and you can see it as it's happening. We're now going to go into reverse. And it should be perfectly centered by my mathematical corrections, right? <laughs> so, big thing here. This is kind of like the ultimate setup. We're going to go double jointed here and uh, call this good. Will I ever need to do this? I sure hope not. But if I do, we can call that together. This gives you a really good look at the gloss versus the matte finish. Again, adapter versus the swivel socket. Let's just pay attention to the run out here because we can. <laughs> Sometimes it looks like the lag screws are screwed in by something like that. They're so crooked. Uh, the real payout here is not going to be seeing the Hercules with the adapter but rather just straight on the ratchet how it'll usually be run and that's what we're going to showcase here are you ready for it hope you are again that's reverse so we'll switch it around i gotta tell you again i'm not expecting a lot from these little things well, this is coming from a guy that never used battery powered ratchets because everything's air, but I've been really happy with those. So, uh, the main thing again, you can use, I 
genuinely, we talked about this with the quarter drives, right? Where you, typically everyone uses Chrome. A 3H ratchet, I think you'd get by, but again, you have to inspect the socket and you should have it on your wish list to snag something when you can. It's just a good investment. And it's double the sockets as well, you know, type of a thing. So you can have a beater set that's your impacts and you can have your good set or an interior set or thin wall versus thick wall if you want to be like discreet about what you're doing. <laughs> so all in all, I think these are really good additions to our arsenal. And what I'm going to do here, I've got a battery charging, because uh, that one for the blower I take with me. And I'm uh, going to take these back with me. This will stay here at the house, put the icon back away, re-rack that guy, get everything locked down. But uh, yeah, that was Zorro Tool Hall number five. Uh, all in on that, this three-piece adapter set and the two swivels with our discount. Let's see, what did we spend? 18 28 36 36, 55, 37, uh, 37, 02, 37, 04. Under 40 bucks, three piece adapters that again, half, three eighths, and quarter, as in like it's quarter, short, long, and you know, extra long. This is a half inch drive, three eighths drive, quarter drive, plus half and nine sixteenths. Everything is swiveling, everything's universal. Sub $40. I think that's a win. So, like I said, ultimately we'll see how long those last for me, but uh, I think they'll be okay. And I honestly think the icon sitting over there is uh, eerily, eerily similar to that guy, just not finished out quite the same, you know. So, um, my sneaking suspicion is if they were to do the exact same work with the exact same torque ambient conditions all the scientific crud people will complain about if you could replicate it in a laboratory setting the exact same things i think they would wear very very similarly so keep that in mind just an initial impression here but that's kind of what i'm feeling so on that front i better get inside i'm gonna try to try to do a double workout tonight that's right it's getting to getting to be the end of february start of march ratcheting things up a bit <laughs> plus I got to be ready to wrangle more tumbleweeds, you know. Uh, it was really weird in February. Typically, you know, the brownout conditions and 80 mile an hour wind, that's not too crazy. What was crazy is how long it was sustained. Like, I'm talking all day Sunday into all, like, 4 or 5 in the morning. Like, it was it was pretty insane, even by our standards. Uh, that's more of like a mid-March type of a thing, not like... I know it's not a, a huge difference, like two to three weeks is all, but like you don't really often see that in February. So it's more of like spring break, you know. That's how you know it's spring break around these parts. Uh, tornadoes, hail, and of course, just blowing dirt. But uh, anyway, we'll quit rambling about that. If you have used these, let me know how you like them, how they've held up for you. Again, not something that we'll use all the time, but it'll certainly be nice if we need it. And again, if you're on a budget, you don't have to buy this and you don't have to buy a chrome set. Buy this so you can use it with your impacts and then you can just slap it on for your chrome stuff as well. Uh, that's the beautiful thing there. Chrome sockets will fit this just like an impact socket will. If you got a half inch drive, it's going to pair up just fine. Drive end or business end adapted here to your socket. So take advantage of it. Uh, similarly, if you have this in Icon, just since we such a close comparison i feel how have those held up for you and then i feel like that should be a good indicator here but uh yeah we'll probably we may just keep these in that case too we might foam it and call it good i don't know we'll figure it out as we go but i'm gonna get this locked up hopefully remember to take those <laughs> battery with me or i'll have to make a return trip out here but uh, if you're ever curious about buying anything and i assume like let's say that we shattered this thing right I assume on the warranty process, this is what we would get, you know, like the little black bag. And I got to say, I'm totally fine with that. Um, especially something like this, you know, I mean, could it be in packing peanuts or an envelope with bubbles, maybe? And they might do that, honestly, if you were to buy just one, maybe it would just come in a bubble mailer. But uh, I think the packaging is pretty slick and efficient, uh, especially here. But uh, I'm assuming, let's say that we got just like a standalone chrome, like 15 16 or something, we'd have the same deal. Speaking of, if Zorro would sell the 15 16 3H drive impact sockets I was trying to buy for like $7 reduced down to something stupid cheap, I would have had that here, but if you recall, they make you buy two of them. 
which is crazy. I'd maybe understand it if it was like the only thing you were buying, but it's like I had a decent order there, and it's like, why do I have to buy two of them? So if you go direct to Capri, though, uh, we can get that standalone 15 16 and that's probably something I'll do. Why? Because I'm using a long neck ratchet there, and that will just save me a ton of time uh, running in. Those are lift hook bolts there, so our 5 8 hardware, that's uh, always going to be on the lift hook that we run in with the motor dangling precariously over our toes. <laughs> that's uh, nothing like 5 to you know 900 pounds going to come crashing down on you. But uh, yeah, we'll bring that in, and that will kind of give us, if it comes, I guess it would come from Capri Direct that way, but... Uh, if we see it in this bag, we'll definitively know that's how they do things. So uh, We'll pick that up, I guess, maybe the next time we order from Capri. But in the meantime, we'll be getting some mileage on those two guys, see how they hold up. Hopefully, I can get the icons in use here around the house. And uh, maybe we'll get a comparison on down the road. Again, your first-hand feedback always appreciated on this stuff, so feel free to share what you know. With that said, Mopar Monday, hope you had a good one. I know I did, because I'm out here in the shop. And uh, I can still currently breathe. Once I shower, it's all going to go downhill because I probably got like... You should have seen the Q-tips last night, man. <laughs> Clean my ears after the shower. Good Lord. It was like I had sand dunes in each ear. But uh, yeah. With that said, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a little something. Again, your opinion and feedback are appreciated here, especially comparatively. Uh, similarly, if you think something else compares nicely here, Tekton or... You know, if you're like, ah, you shouldn't buy a junk, you should only get Schnapp on, you know. Well, tell people, you know, what does it cost? How long does it last? Have you ever compared it to anything cheaper? Uh, all things, you know, that I can't provide for you. Uh, if you've got insights, share them, because it'll ultimately help people decide whether they want to buy this or buy what you suggest type of a deal. So, um, on that front, you know the drill. LoneStarMopars.com is the website. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. We've got new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, 9 a.m. Texas time. And if you jump your charger across the creek and ring the bell, YouTube just might notify you of that. So, that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope I catch you back here for more action from the shop. You're still here. Fantastic. You get bonus content because buried underneath all that stuff, I had two items I forgot about. One of them being right here. I'm going to quickly go through this. Again, because we're thrifty, we can stretch our buck a little bit farther and we can pair impact rated adapters with handheld tools. Why? Because again, thriftiness. This is really kind of the bee's knees. Okay. You come in with a swivel head like this. And then you have this guy where you could come in and get some really weird angles that you're not otherwise going to be able to achieve. This can be the difference between getting something done really, really quick and getting something done very, very slowly. The other thing I wanted to do, the only real uh, swivel sockets I actually own outside of you know these things you see here are these SKs. I guess I have a few like odds and ends from way back in the day, but I grabbed the 916th 3H drive. I just wanted to showcase the sidewall differences here to you. I gotta say, with the Capri, I mean, they're dang near identical again, maybe a couple thousandths. It could just be a difference between the coating. Um, Again, a lot of times with an impact, you're going to you know, have a fat sidewall. It would be like a hindrance to you where this might come in and save the day. Very, very subtle. I do think this is a bit thinner, but very, very negligibly so. So um, that was it. That was my comparison. Obviously, there you can kind of get the height difference as well. That could play a factor for you as well. But uh, that's it. That's all I want to cover. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you back here for more from the shop.